Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well and of course Arnie does too. Over the billions of years that there's been life on this planet, predator-prey relationships have always been evolving. Through evolution, predators have come up with new inventive ways of catching their prey and also delivering a fatal blow. On the other hand, prey animals have come up with different ways of avoiding predators and even defending themselves. But predator-prey relationships aren't as simple as they may seem. In some cases, predators can fall prey to the animal that they're targeting and the prey can even kill the predators themselves. In this video, I'll be going through just a few of these complex relationships as I'll be going through five predators that hunt dangerous prey. And to start off we'll be heading to South America as we have the jaguar. This cat is the only member of its genus that's native to the Americas and is also the largest cat in its area. They are the third largest cat in the world with a body length of up to 1.85 meters. These cats are often confused with leopards but they are much stockier and have large thick heads. These muscular heads give them an impressive bite which is able to bite through the shells of turtles and tortoises. In their hot humid homes they generally feed on large mammals. They're known to target capybaras and tapirs but as they're quite unfussy predators they'll feed on pretty much anything in their ecosystem. Because of their immensely powerful bite they have quite a strange hunting strategy. Their camouflage gives them the ability to creep up on their prey and when they get close enough instead of going for the neck they generally go straight for the skull. They're easily able to break the skull and thus kill the animal. Despite being a common misconception the black panther and the jaguar are not separate species and their color difference is just a genetic mutation. Around 10% of all jaguars are black and a 2020 study found that 25% of the jaguars that lived in dense forests in Costa Rica were melanistic. This is much more than the global average and it's suggested that these black coats give them a camouflage advantage in dense dark forests. Although these big cats generally feed on medium to large sized mammals, they are known to venture into the water and target a more dangerous prey. The black caiman is one of the largest crocodilians in the world and along with the American alligator, they are both the largest members of the alligator caiman family. They're thought to reach a maximum size of around 6 meters, which means they're one of the top predators in their ecosystem. Now if a jaguar was to target an adult black caiman, it might not end well for the big cat. Black caimans have an advantage in the water, and some caiman have even been known to take down jaguars. Instead the jaguars tend to target juvenile black caiman, where they tend to ambush them on the shore before biting their skull. Sometimes this battle goes into the water, where both creatures will fight to the death. This is an iconic battle between two apex predators, but it's not the only impressive battle battle that occurs in these areas. The green anaconda also calls South America's freshwaters home and this snake has the ability to take on both of these predators. So surprisingly for this entry I could have included three different large predators. But for our next species we'll be heading to all oceans worldwide as we have the sperm whale. Now the sperm whale is the largest of the toothed whales and it's the largest toothed predator. Males can weigh as much as 50 tons which is more than 700 people combined. When you first look at these mammals it seems like their body is a bit out of proportion. Their head makes up around a third of their body and they're known to have the largest brain of any other animal on earth. To fuel this brain they need to eat a lot of food and to find their desired prey they dive deep down into the ocean. They usually dive at depths of around 800 meters but are known to have the ability to dive almost two kilometers is deep. Because exploring the depths of our ocean was impossible for such a long period of our history, for a long time it was unknown what the sperm whales were feeding on. But thanks to modern technology and exploration, we know that they mainly feed on rays, octopuses and two very large scary squid, both the giant squid and the colossal squid. These two species are some of the largest mollusks in the world and large parts of their life still remain a mystery. These two squids are an example of deep sea gigantism which is where deep sea invertebrates tend to be a lot larger than their shallow water relatives. Giant squid are thought to max out at around 13 meters long and colossal squid are thought to reach around 10 meters. It's possible that they could grow even larger than this as extremely large squid beaks have been found inside of sperm whales. Taking down a giant or colossal squid is by no means easy. They are thought to be able to put up a fight based on how other species of squid defend themselves. These squid are armed with suckers, hooks and teeth which are more than able to deal some damage. Battle marks and scars can easily be seen on many sperm whales but unfortunately today this isn't their only threat. They are known to fall victim to plastic waste and fishing nets and as they use echolocation to find their prey they are very sensitive to noise and can often fall victim to sonar and deep sea drilling. In the past week in Ireland a few dead sperm whales have washed ashore and it's thought that sonar and 
Russian submarines may be behind this, so as well as targeting innocent people in Ukraine, the Russian government is also taking out these whales. But for our next species, we'll be heading to southern and southeast Asia, as we have the King Cobra. Now these cobras are some of the largest snakes in the world, and is the world's longest venomous snake. Despite their common name being King Cobra, they aren't actually true cobras. True cobras are in fact a different genus, and the King Cobra is the sole member of its own genus. It's thought that they're more closely related to mambas in sub-Saharan Africa, but they are in fact very unique snakes. When these snakes are cornered or threatened, they can lift their heads up to six feet off the ground, and they're known to almost bark or growl like a dog. Although their venom isn't as toxic as some other smaller snakes, they make up for it with quantity. With a single bite they can inject 7 milliliters of venom, and this is enough to kill most large elephants. Their venom attacks the central nervous system, resulting in severe pain, blurred vision, vertigo, drowsiness, and eventually paralysis. If you're bitten by a king cobra, you can fall victim to the venom within 30 minutes, unless anti-venom was administered. But luckily in most cases, king cobras aren't interested in humans at all, so if you leave them alone, you should be just fine. If you look into this snake's strange scientific name, you can find out what it feeds on. If you ignore the word Hanna, its name is derived from the Greek meaning snake eating. They feed on many different species of snake, some of which are very dangerous. They are known to feed on crates and other cobras, and even large non-venomous snakes such as pythons. Their size and venomous bites help them overpower other snakes, but they also have some built-in defences to protect them against more venomous prey. They are known to be immune to the venom of snakes in their geographic range. Despite this, they don't have immunity to all venom, so if they were transported to another part of the world, other venomous snakes could take them down. So if you're afraid of snakes and want less of them to be around, this snake might actually do you a favour. But for our next species, we'll be heading over to Africa, as we have the African lion. Now almost all lions live in Africa, but there is one small population in western India. Lions are the most famous apex predators in the world, and rightly so. They've been a big part of human history and culture, and have been kept in menageries since the time of the Roman Empire. The lion is a generalist hypercarnivore, and is considered to be both an apex and keystone predator. They tend to show a preference for ungulates, and often hunt these prey items as a pride. Not much meat is left on the carcasses that they leave behind, as each lion takes its turn to have its fill. Despite being impressive predators, not all animals are on the menu. They tend to avoid elephants, rhinos, and hippos as these are simply too dangerous to target. They will however go for their young, and they're known to target another dangerous mammal in the Cape Buffalo. Although these animals may look very similar to a domesticated cow, they are in fact far more dangerous. They can reach heights of up to 6 feet at the shoulder, and are also equipped with some very useful horns. Lions rarely go for strong adults, and tend to target the juveniles. These buffalo are known to stand up and defend their young, and don't just settle for scaring the lions off. They will often chase them down and corner them, where they can easily gore the lions with their horns. These are one of the most dangerous prey items that the lions hunt, and a hunt can easily end in death. But these buffalo aren't just dangerous to lions, as they're one of the most dangerous animals on the African continent. It's estimated that they kill around 200 people per year, and a large number of these people are hunters. The Cape Buffalo is a member of the Big Five game animals, as some rich dentists think it's cool to hunt them. They are very dangerous when injured, and when a herd is under attack by a hunter, they are known to charge them down and sometimes game end them. So although some daring lions may try, it's not a great idea to mess with the Cape Buffalo. But for our final species, we'll be heading to the USA, as we have the American Alligator. Now again, this is one of the most iconic predators in the world, and it's one of the largest predators in North America. As they're thought to reach sizes of around 5.5 meters, they can feed on pretty much anything they choose. They have one of the most powerful bites in the animal kingdom, and are masters of their wetland habitats. Despite sometimes being labeled as mindless killers, alligator courtship is quite sophisticated sophisticated, and alligators are some of the most vocal reptiles. They are known to make a wide range of sounds to attract a mate. <laughs> and they're also known to be very caring parents. For millions of years, the American alligator was unrivaled in its ecosystem, but today it's a different story, as the alligator's freshwater habitats are being invaded by the Burmese python. These two reptiles should not be found in the same area, as the Burmese python originates from Southeast Asia, but because of its popularity as a pet, more than 90,000 snakes were imported into America between 1996 and 2006. This had disastrous effects for the ecosystem when they were released into the wild, with mammal populations 
populations plummeting. In a 2012 study, it was discovered that raccoon sightings were down by 99%, opossums by 98%, and white-tailed deer by 94%. These have all been linked to the Burmese python, as they are expert mammal hunters. With less prey around, this also affects the Florida panther, and also the smaller bobcat. But when there are no mammals left to feed on, these two reptiles turn to each other for food. There's well-documented cases of Burmese pythons attacking alligators, and alligators attacking Burmese pythons. These battles can go both ways, and it really is a fight to the death. There are many attempts to control the Burmese python numbers in Florida, and the alligators are really helping these efforts. So if you're a Floridian that likes mammals, you should really help the efforts to remove these pythons. But that's about it for this video. If you've got any other video suggestions, then let me know down in the comments below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.